My name's Debbie. I'm the Export and General Manager of Bosmia Products. Bosmia have been in business for 35 years, and out of that, we've been exporting for over 30. Over the years, we've come across all sorts of problems and bits and pieces, which hopefully I'll be able to tell you a little bit about our experiences today. Um, I started off within Bosmia Products in the sales office, so I've had the back side of the business as well as the front side. I took over the export role about four years ago. And since then, um, we've been trying to build on business that we have and um, find new markets, find new business. If you can bear with me again. Um, our core business is protective covers for garden furniture, and it's something that sells very well wherever we are. Again, I don't actually have a PowerPoint presentation for you here, I'm just about to say, because this is an informal sort of gathering. All right. One of the most effective ways to connect and satisfy overseas distributors is one of my topics here. And I have found very much that people like doing business with people they like. Therefore, I have found it's very important to actually meet the people you're de doing business with. If you can go out there, greet them, you get to know them, you recognize them when you meet them down the aisles or wherever you are. That, to me, has become very important. And a knock-on effect for that is the fact that I actually have just started a program of actually going out to meet my customers in their country, in their offices. It's a program that's only recently been started, but it's proving very effective. You're building up a relationship. And that is what I have found is helping me considerably. Um, moving on down. Again, attending the trade shows, going to Cologne, attending Glee. It's not actually a one-off event. You actually have to sort of keep going at this. You're not going to get instant success in the first couple of shows you go to. No, excuse me, the first couple of shows you go to. You've actually got to build on it, expand on it. And um, we have found that we've exhibited at Cologne for over 30 years. And uh, actually, we got a presentation for actually being there for 30 years as well. That's pretty damn good, isn't it? Um, we are, again, um, sort of building on that business. Language can also be a problem. Now, it's well known that very nearly everybody speaks English. We have found that we actually have to help the people that we distribute to. We have to have, provide translations where required and have a, some sort of brochure in a different language, if at all possible. Sometimes it's not. You may have your own point of sale in um, your own language. Leave a space on there somewhere that you can actually put a translation in a different language. So moving on down, um, we have a strong combination of internet and web page presence. Very, very important. The internet is a, an expanding media, and its importance is, I think, very underrated in the garden industry. We are actually investing in a doing more and more on the internet. A strong web page is very, very essential. When you're communicating with people, email's great. You get an awful lot of instant responses, and of course, you've got to reply in the middle of the night sometimes when somebody pings through an email and it goes ding at 12 o'clock. <laughs> but um, follow it up. Everybody likes at the end of the day to have a catalog with something they can thumb through and see, as well as the samples, of course. Uh, if anybody, of course, has got any questions at any stage, please feel free to shut me up. I'm a woman that talks incessantly, okay? <laughs> Maximizing our brand exposure and the importance of trade shows. I've already touched on the importance of trade shows. Within the exporting market, it's very hard to reach new markets. We work with the likes of Gardenex and UK Trade and Investment to actually reach out and get to new markets. If you don't actually utilize these services which are there for you, you know, you just have to do it. Um, having a strong brand name helps considerably, but you have to push your brand name. Again, we're talking about attending your trade shows and um, getting your name out on the internet. The limitations within the um, marketplace and the demands of the distributors. An awful lot of people, generally, um, we have found that it's very necessary to give all the help that you can. If you have a distributor in a country that doesn't speak your language, that doesn't have a shipper, 
that doesn't know how to start, you have to be able to give that information to them. If you can't, you're not going to get anywhere. Our terms are X works, as I'm sure a lot of other people's are as well. That means basically we don't really want to get involved in the shipping side of things. <laughs> it's a lot of work. But on the other hand, if you're going to lose a sale just by maybe getting a quote, recommending a carrier, then you've got to do it. We actually have a list of carriers that we have that we can either recommend or that we can go to them and say, can you give us a quote? Anything to try and help get the goods over to the other country. In addition, there's documentation requests. Um, it's needed to do all of this homework to make sure that when your goods get out there, they don't get held up anywhere. Find out the requirements that are required beforehand. You can get some information from the Chamber of Commerce as well, which is sometimes required for exporting to, for example, um, United Arab Emirates. They require a special stamp on their documentation. We didn't know this. <laughs> we found out the hard way. Delayed the shipment for a week, but it got there, and it was all OK. Um, again, I've probably swapped from bit, bit to bit here because I'm a little bit nervous. Um, going on to one of the points I've mentioned again, the growth within the business um, via the internet. You have to use the internet to your advantage. Apart from having a good web page, the social media side of things is becoming more and more important. It's important because it establishes trends within the industry. The garden industry can be a little bit traditional. We are trying to reach out to younger buyers, people that have got the garden that have the disposable income. They don't always sort of look at gardening as a, an interesting side of things. So we're utilizing things like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Google+. And we are launching information on all of these platforms because we believe it is really important to continue on that. And by doing this, you get actual feedback and reaction from your customers. They can give you, tell you whether your products are any good, whether or not they're liable to be a hit, and enable you to react to what they want, to maybe in introduce new colors, different sizes, all sorts of bits and pieces. And of course, the more, present you have, more presence you have online is good for your search engine optimization, which is a term, actually, I only learned this morning because it's SEO. <laughs> so <laughs> the more hits you get, it keeps your brand at the top of the Google searches. So again, it's something else that we're actually trying to expand on.